Respect yourself from low quality friends. But before I can tell you that, let me tell you my story. So, my story is uh, back in fifth grade, I've had basically, well, actually, let's go a little bit more back, fourth grade. I had kind of more of, actually, let's, let's go even more back. Let's go third grade. So, third grade, now I had this friend, like, I had this friend named Jazz. He was Indian and, well, I, we were, like, I could, un, like, basically, I no, not no, no, he spoke English, man. And basically, we were always hanging out together. Like, there was this one time where we were climbing. Well, I decided there was like a broken umbrella on the other side. And I wanted to go get it. So I went through, like, I kind of went around so I can go through it. And then, well, I just kind of started to, like, try to get through the fence. And then there were some second grader girls that snitched on us. And then we got mad at them. But, yeah, that happened. But fourth grade is when, well, things started to change. And fourth grade where I had more of, like, three friends that, like, I never met before. We all met each other in the first day. We were, like, all speaking to each other, and I kind of went up to them. And then I was just kind of accepted. And, you know, for the first time, I felt like I had my own friend group. Like, I had everyone, like, it just felt nice to be, like, in a friend group, honestly, man. Well, just to not be lonely. I didn't. I didn't want to be lonely, man. Yeah. And we like we played video games together. We like with our tab. Well, I had my tablet, so I just played video games with them. Sometimes my crush would be online, so I'd be playing, man. And yeah, I just really mostly spoke to them throughout fourth grade. But for fifth grade, I'm pretty sure you already know. Maybe you know. I'll tell you now. So, fifth grade year is when one of my friends just leave, and and one of them just well, Tony is with his name. He starts well, he decides to kind of start like bullying me and stuff. He didn't really actually treat me like his friend anymore, and then he stabbed me with a pair of scissors on the back, or at least on the shoulder. Maybe I. Maybe on the chest, but I'm not sure. But he stabbed me with a pair of scissors. We got, we, we got into this whole conference thing, and then he said he wouldn't do it again. And then I just kind of let him kind of like... I was just kind of more like the servant, honestly, man. Like, even though he did that, like, would you still stay with a friend that already... Like, that stabbed you with scissors on the back, man. And... Like, you probably wouldn't, man. But I still decided to kind of just stay with him. I decided just kind of, like, just kind of, I just wanted, I didn't want to be by myself. So, even though, like, in the in the classroom, I was, like, with him. I was just kind of like, oh, like, what's up, man? Even though he did that. Like, I basically was still, like, allowing him to, I was still talking to him, basically. But over time... But, like, outside when, like, outside when it's recess, I literally had, I didn't have anybody to talk to, man. I mean, my teachers, which I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my teachers that, you know, let me stay in the classrooms and stuff. But just life, well, kind of, like, I guess you could say life wasn't going good as my crush that I, I liked was dating another guy. But I didn't really know much, so I blamed him. And... My friend Tony was uh, basically kind of like, I well, he kind of just like left me. So I didn't really know what to do. I just kind of ate by myself, man. I thought that no one liked me. I thought no girls liked me. I thought that I couldn't be friends. Like everyone was just too cool and I was just kind of like the weird kid. So that's what happened. And yeah, fast forward, I became a Jeffrey and stuff, and then I found self-improvement. So now it's like 7th grade me. Well, now it's like 7th sev grade me. I started doing some self-improvement things, and I started improving. And 8th grade is what? Another, like, another part of the section as well. 8th grade is where... It's like I was on self-improvement, yes. But at the same time, I was still kind of hold, hold back by... 
like the old stuff that old me was holding back. Well, basically, just friends and stuff. So, one day in PE, I met in the locker room, man. I meet some people, like, I meet some people outside that, like, we're basically all running, like, the track. And we're all running and stuff. And I meet this guy, and we're, like, and we're, like, all speaking to, like, we're basically speaking to each other, like, oh, how much can you run and stuff? It was a nice conversation, and then we get back to the locker room, and I also speak to his friends and stuff, which, like, you know, they're pretty nice. Like, I knew that I wanted good friends that, like, I wanted good friends that I could speak to, and, and like, I thought, like, we were all going to be, like, exercising now, or, like, we were all going to be, like, improving ourselves and stuff. Like, this might have been my friend group, but... Fortunately, they weren't, man. So, even though they were, like, exercising pretty good on, like, PE, though, when I met them at lunch, I kind of, like, they, I kind of, well, they were completely different. They were, they were Jeffries, basically. They were, like, all on their phones. Like, basically just some Jeffries, man. They didn't really want to improve. They kept talking about, oh, this new video game. Or I just went to this Mexican truck to go eat some food. Basically like that. And I wanted, I was just kind of like... I didn't really actually think about it, honestly. I just decided to keep being friends with them. Even though, like, you know, they were Jeffries. And you're one out of the, like, five people you're with, man. So... I did spend a lot of time with them. But although they were Jeffries... And this kind of stayed throughout the whole year. Like, kind of mostly the whole year that... They were all just kind of like Jeffries. And I even I was even kind of sh- scared of showing my self-improvement side. Like, I was just scared of, like, showing that. So, like, like perhaps I wouldn't be accepted by them. And basically they said... Well, I even one time showed them one of my, like, goals. And it was, like, $1,000 per month and stuff. And they kind of just looked at it and they said, oh, no, like, why are you writing that? It's not possible. And I was just kind of like, okay, like, I knew, I kind of knew at this point, like, okay, they're just like, they're just kind of Jeffrey friends, man. They might be crabs, too. So. And then one day, I decided to, after watching, like, a Hamza video about, like, about, like, Jeffrey friends. I knew that it was time to, I knew that it was time to cut them off. I knew that they weren't serving me. And it was kind of scary, honestly, man. If you haven't, like, basically disabandoned your friends before, it's kind of scary a little bit, honestly. Like, you kind of have to, it's like you kind of think about, like, oh, what will they think about me? And, like, how will we be for the, throughout the entire year? Like, how is it going to go now? Things like that. So... I decided to actually just tell him. I didn't try to hide it. I just told him up front. Like, oh, I told him. I told I well, I kind of told one of my friends and just thought, oh, hey, I don't want to be friends with you guys anymore because I have different beliefs and stuff and I want to do my own, like, different things. And they said, oh, okay. And then they just kind of, like, and then we never really spoke ever again. I mean, I, they even, we had a period next to each other. with. Everybody. It was kind of awkward, but... Like, all my, like, basically, my new friend group was in my next period. So, I had to see them right after I just said that. But, no, it went fine. It's just that. I was just so scared of just kind of, like, leaving. Oh, sneeze again. I was just scared of being abandoned again. I was scared of just being abandoned by my friends and I just wanted a community that I can have and of course man I'll be honest man if I could if I'd rather be alone or have like a group of like good friends then obviously the good friends man obviously man but I was just scared of being alone man maybe you too man maybe right now you have some Jeffrey friends that like, to be honest, maybe they, they won't even respect you, man, or they're just kind of like Jeffries. 
like every single time there might be they might be playing on like some video games and you might decide like oh like i know i had to do this thing etc but i'm gonna just go be with them like i'm gonna go play some video games too and and this goes on for like days and weeks then you realize that it's kind of a waste of time man so and honestly man you have to respect yourself man like for me i didn't even bear i was just kind of more of a traumatized kid back then in fifth grade who didn't kind of just wanted to be accepted and stuff and today even today right now i kind of still feel the same effect of like i just wanted to feel accepted i just didn't want to feel hated yeah i'll be honest man i yeah i can be scared of being abandoned and stuff I'm not, I thought that I was just like, I kind of thought that I was just this different guy that who didn't really care. Like, oh, no, 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 it's fine. I don't really care if I get in bed and stuff. But in reality, I do, man. I do care if I'm abandoned by the tribe, basically. Because you're basically, if you just hang on to your Jeffrey fans, they just might hold you back, man. And if that's like you probably know them, man. So like, how do you how do you basically leave your Jeffrey friends or your crabs? Well, you know, man. I'm not even gonna stress it too much, man. Just like just either if it's like a group chat or something, just say hey guys. Just like send a paragraph. Just say hey guys, thanks for being my friend and stuff. But but. But, like, I want to do other things, and basically, like, like just think about how you can say it, man. And I, you might consider, like, oh, like, do I say it or not? Just just type something, and then just, like, get the confidence to, like, feel it, feel it, and then just send it. And then you can leave the group, and then you can leave, like, just, like, just leave everything, man. Even in school, too. Like, if this happens in school, like... They might, they might hate you or not. And then you realize that they weren't even good friends, man. They weren't even good friends if they started, like, hating you and stuff. But, but whatever option happens, whether they hate you or not, or just kind of becomes awkward, you have to move on, man. And this is for your sake, man. Because if you don't leave, you might become more of a Jeffrey and a lot of more progress that you make. You might... Well, you might not make as much progress or you just might not be able to, you just might, basically, you just might not make a lot of progress and you'll see that you wasted a lot of time. So you have to do this for you, man. You have to be honest, man. So for me, I already did it. Well, basically, I already talked to my friends before and I told them that I didn't want to be friends with them. And they were kind of like understanding, like, oh, okay, okay. I don't think it's gonna, they're gonna start like, oh, you're some loser or something. No, man. Just, you have to do what's best for you, man. Trust me, man. Don't stay in this path of just kind of like being with Jeffrey Friends. So, what was the title? Respect yourself from low quality friends. Basically. Alright. So, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you can do it, man. I believe in you. Do the right thing and don't give up, man. All right. Take care.